Hi Pisces, welcome to your reading guys. Let's jump into it. Let's find out what's on your person's mind, what's on their heart, what's going on when it comes to you and your connection from their perspective guys. Y'all know all my readings are meant to bring you confirmations of the things you already intuitively and instinctively know about your person. If it doesn't happen with this reading, you can check out your other sign positions. I also do the extra wild card reading. You can check that one out and see if I picked up the energy there. See what's going on. What are they focused in on when it comes to you and your connection? Strongest energy for my Pisces. Talk to us, Pisces. Oh, we'll pop. We've got love, unconditional love, self love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. That sounds good. Hold the energy. Let's see what else. It's for my Pisces. Pisces. Going on. Ooh, that one went flying out, guys. We've got invest. See if they're the one. Spend time together. Make effort getting to know them. Emotional investment, guys. Ooh, we definitely got an attraction. Somebody feeling it, feeling it, and wanting to spend some time to get to know each other. Ooh, hold the energy and let's get on talking. I'm a Pisces to the person. Pisces, talk to us. Let's see the energy. Where is it at, guys? Talk to us. What's going on? What's in their head? On their heart? Talk. We've got three of presents. Somebody's definitely wanting some recognition from us. <laughs> yes, and they want to know, they want a plan, guys, a plan together. Ooh, so this person is really feeling it. Um, not just on that uh, <laughs> physical attraction. It's more than that for this person. We've got a ten of needles. A ten of needles. That's a ten of swords. Ooh, we'll clarify on that one. Oh, pop. Hang on. Let me get a hold of it here. We've got a four of needles. Rest, recuperation, getting clarity. That's like a four of swords. Let's clarify on that ten of needles. It seems to be telling us what they, they were hoping we'll recognize about them. They've been through some hurt. They've definitely been through some hurt. And they're just now going through the healing process. Coming or coming out of the healing process, putting herself back out to try love again. Let's clarify that ten of needles. We've got a two of needles. Yep, making a decision to come back out of their comfort zone and try again. Oh, so somebody's definitely been hurting love before, big time. So it probably feels extremely risky to them, but they're willing to risk uh, jumping in, getting to know someone. What else? What else? Ooh, what did I get? Ten of Pentacles. Somebody's wanting long term. And what flipped up with it? We've got two more with it. We've got the Tower. And the Queen of Potions. Or Queen of Cups. Ooh. Just with these two is telling me what the person is looking for is a true connection with someone. And heart connection with someone. And they are looking for long term. But it's also telling us what they're leaving uh, in the past. Um, had to make a hard decision to leave a long term relationship. It was sudden. Sudden. They didn't want to do it. It was like a tower moment. So yeah. And the person actually might be a water sign, guys. Mm -hmm. Just like you. Ooh, let's see. What else they going to tell us here? Get control of the deck. For my Pisces person, talk to us, Pop. We've got a five of potions, five of cups. Ooh, disappointment feeling left behind. Definitely been hurt, been hurt before. Mm -hmm. What else? What else? Anything else? Pop. A six of needles or six of swords, a rite of passage moving away and putting the past behind them. What else is hanging out with that one? The emperor. Ooh, I like that divine. 
Masculine Aries energy. Let's see what they're trying to tell me. What's the ruling factor on that? Page of potions or page of cups. Wow. That's emotional vulnerability. Emotions. Mm. With that one, that, guys, hopefully I give someone uh, confirmation. The person is coven, covering up their emotional vulnerability with, with that emperor, that divine masculine Aries energy of I'm cool, I'm collect. Nothing gets through my thick skin, that kind of thing. Um, not emotional here. When they really do feel emotionally vulnerable. It's clever on that six of needles, that six of swords. Ooh, king of presence or king of pentacles, Taurus energy. They definitely looking out long term, wanting stability, and they need to know that their heart is safe. And then we've got a five of presence, a five of pentacles. Ooh. That's our card of lack, the card anxiety. Having anxiety on an emotional level. What else? The moon card. Yeah. They definitely are worried about finding uh, uh, someone that is also seeking out long term. A long term relationship. A serious connection. Not just let's get out and date. Get to know each other a little bit. Be more like friends and keep playing field. Stuff like that. This person is looking for something serious. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Let's ask them their intentions. No, let's do desires first. Their desires towards my Pisces right now. Desires towards my Pisces. Talk to us. Desires. Ooh, they're going to take their time on this one, y'all. Hold on. There it goes. Got a two of a potions or two of cups energy. They're definitely wanting to get to know us. See how much in, in balance and in, in, in likeness we are to each other. Then we got a five of candles. They feel, a, it feels a little bit chaotic for them. They are worried about competition. Is, are you seeing other people, that kind of thing? Are you looking for something serious? But uh, they also, with the five of candles, that's like a five of wands. They would also be a little leery about um, speaking up uh about everything about their desires right now. A little bit uncomfortable till they get uh, to know us just a little bit better. Anything else? Desires. So anything else? Pop. Yep. Four of presents. Ooh, four of presents. It's a four of pentacles, guys. And y'all know that brings in a tight grip of wanting to hold hold on to something that you feel like is precious to you. Sometimes can represent jealousy and possessiveness. I want to clarify on that one before we move on. Clarify that four of presents. Four of presents. Pop. We've got eight of a potions. That's an eight of cups energy. Mmm. And six of cups. Ooh, past the past card of nostalgia, but also past the past. How? Just with that, either this person is trying to tell me that um, they're trying to let go of being jealous and possessive. Over overbearing a lot of times that emperor energy that we got uh, that divine masculine Aries will will be over a little bit overbearing a little bit controlling that kind of thing need to know what you're doing that kind of thing this person would, it seems to be saying they're trying to let go of that but they also may be saying that that's one thing that they are worried that you are talking to other people and you know they'll lose out their chance that kind of thing a little bit of jealousy Ooh, intentions let's see their intentions and then we'll get on talking guys intentions intentions towards my pisces right now got an eight of needles Ooh, self-restricted right now indecisive just put it that way, indecisive. That's an Eight of Swords energy, guys. Indecisive. Hang on. Let's keep going. Intentions. 
intentions, anything. A three of wands. Ooh, opportunity. Ooh, have hope, hope, hoping there's an opportunity there. Or uh, let's kind of clarify it before we keep moving on. Three of wands, three of candles. Clarify that for us. What do you mean with opportunity? You king of potions, they definitely want to charm you. That's the king of cups, Scorpio energy. They definitely want a heart connection with you. Mm -hmm. I show up with the champagne or the wine. Yes, I will. Ooh, so their intentions is to try to figure out an opportunity. Um, but they're indecisive of what to do. And then we have the nine of potions. Wish, fulfillment, and desire. Got a lot of desire and emotions, but um, when it comes to what, how do I impress you, how do I win you over, that kind of thing, they're a little bit um, not sure what to say or do right now. So, yeah, hold the energy. Let's get on talking, guys. Let's see what deck they want to talk with. Talk to us, talk to us. We are getting the butterfly, the blue butterflies, light side of the deck. Yes, we'll take it. Talk to us. This is for my Scorpios. Let me get some more energy on this. This doesn't feel right. My Scorpio starts in Scorpio, Scorpio. Now talk to us. We pop. I know we have a, a real connection. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm hoping. <laughs> I feel so tempted by you all the time. I just want to hold you. Tell me what you need. Ooh, I see. Ooh. This was meant to be. Anything else? Keep talking. Yep, there's more. My feelings for you are real. This is the real me. You know, somebody's wanting you to know they're coming at you with real stuff. Desperate. I'm hearing this like it's a question, guys. I don't know why. But it should have a question mark. Desperate? Desperate? Tell me what you're saying. Tell me. It might be, are, are they coming across as they are desperate? Or do you think they're desperate? It's like a question. I wish we talked more. I want to tell you everything. I'm not good at communicating my feelings. Yeah, that's an emperor energy for sure. Soulmate. Ooh. Did pretty good on that one. After knowing you, I will never be the same. Reach out. I never expected to meet someone like you. I don't know how much longer I can keep doing this. I'm trying to trust that we will be together. Whew, I pushed it back. Hang on, guys. There it goes. Commitment scares me. And I'm here right now. I'm afraid of making any kind of commitment. Mm. Last shuffle. Anything else? Yep, one more. I'm trying to look strong. Mm-hmm. Emperor, hold the energy. Guys, let's go ahead and get them to focus in on the deck that they want to give you a final and closing message from. My Pisces, you right behind me, guys. Hang on, get a hold of it. It's our small deck, Victoria's Love Oracles. For my Pisces, my Pisces. Pisces person. Talk to us. Oh, bam, top. I am talking about you to others just so you will know. <laughs> Topic of my conversation. You scare the sh out of me. <laughs> hey, oh my God. My Pisces are so lovable, guys. But y'all can be intimidating sometimes. You're very mysterious. Nobody knows if you're going to snap on them or not. 
I have been thinking about you a lot, a lot. Love will keep us together. Yes, it will. I feel you are wife, husband, material. There's our ten of pentacles they're looking for, guys, long term. I have been up all night thinking about you. They are not you. Who are they? Mm. I have a hard time communicating. Anything else? Let's do a last shuffle. Are we getting more? I don't know what to do. If you let me, I'll take care of you. I admire how hard you work. I think you are amazing. Ooh, I'm playing games on purpose. Trying to gauge the energy, last one. I love your body. Ooh, Pisces now. Guys, that's, yeah, that was the bomb to land on, wasn't that? Guys, that's all I have for us. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.